हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू करंट अफेयर्स रिव्यू टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज एवोल्यूशन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पॉलिसीज इन इंडिया आर फर्स्ट ट्राई टू वर्ड्स एम्ब्रेसिंग साइंस इन इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया कैन बी ट्रेस्ड बैक टू दर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी एट विच वॉज वाइडली बिलीव टू हैव बीन ड्राफ्टेड बाई इंडिया लेजेंडरी फिजिसिस्ट होमी जहांगीर भाभा the first scientific advisor to the indian cabinet and a close confidant of nehru the scientific policy resolution envision science as a great enabler of nation building and economic development of the country by reducing the disparities between the rich and the poor and channeling the natural resource The strategy included measures to create a structure where citizens knowledge can grow and prosper and be channeled into various sectors since it was crucial to create a pool of scientists to advance India's scientific objectives. Therefore, Science Policy Resolution 1958 is primarily a science policy with little emphasis on technology development because the think tank believed that technology cannot be produced without a solid scientific foundation. Science Policy Resolution 1958 stood tall all alone for 25 years until the arrival of its successor, Technology Policy Statement 1983, which was formulated by the government headed by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. The policy have put emphasis on environment where it envisioned scientific endeavors in line with climatic consciousness. The document also gave a clarion call to minimize dependence on foreign technologies and simultaneously was vocal about the impending need to safeguard the local industries from the onslaught of imports. It promoted reverse engineering of imported capital goods so that India could develop its own technology to cut down on imports. In the face of inflating threats from both frontiers It gave a huge fillip to the missile program that resulted in integrated missile development program. The policy for the first time identified specific sectors of importance for science and tech investment like food, health, housing, energy etc. Science and Technology Policy 2003 signals a shift to a post-liberalization world that's taken over by the globalization, knowledge-based economies and international competition. The policy envisioned the need of research and development in India, where it has set an ambitious target of investing 2% of nation's GDP on R&D. It also professes to incentivize and attract scientists and engineers across the globe, particularly of Indian origin to contribute to the Indian scientific ecosystem. It also envisions to employ science to rise up to the socio-economic challenges of the country. The policy has laid special emphasis on instituting intellectual rights regimes to safeguard and incentivize inventors. It also stressed on science diplomacy and technological collaboration between developing countries located in the global south. The decade 2010 to 2020 was announced as a decade of innovation by the incumbent Prime Minister Manmohan Singh as the central focus was on building a healthy innovative environment. and linking science and technology with socio-economic aspirations the policy put emphasis on various segments like inculcating scientific temper amongst all sections of society developing human resources in the field of science amongst all the strata of public setting up state of art infrastructure for r&d to attain global leadership in select fields propelling india to rank among the top 5 global scientific powers by 2020 using scientific advancement to achieve inclusive growth curating a conducive environment for the private players to operate and translating r&d into commercial products through active ppp model engagements in 2020 The government of India is all set to launch its fifth national science, technology and innovation policy with an aim to attain technological self-reliance and position India among the top 3 scientific superpowers in the coming decade. The new policy put emphasis on establishing of bodies like National Science and Technology Observatory and Indian Science and Technology Archive of Research to provide access to the outcomes of scientific activities happening in India. 
also research excellence framework for higher educational institutions in india will be formulated for research assessment across the full academic spectrum within india's higher education ecosystem every department in the central state local and private bodies to set up and science technology and innovation sti unit with a minimum earmarked budget to pursue sti activities also developing institutional setup for integrating traditional knowledge systems and grassroots innovation and to transform them into the overall education research and innovation system lastly providing equal opportunity in academics for women along with candidates hailing from rural and remote areas marginalized communities and differently abled persons India fares very poorly in terms of gross domestic expenditure on R&D when compared to the global examples. Our education network is notorious for inhibiting the spirit of scientific enquiry where rote learning takes the center stage and doesn't inspire any creativity. Unfortunately, in India, the steering of India's scientific journey is controlled by the bureaucracy. Most of the S&T policy formulations in India are bottom up. that is the policy comes to the fore only when the need emerges that merely aim to solve existing problems and are barely futuristic download material for this issue from our website please like and share this video please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated thank you